Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the cube root of 1.331 or a decimal number. The first step in finding the cube root of this number is to convert this, this decimal number into a fraction. So we can write 1.331 as 1.331 divided by 1 and when we remove this decimal point we can add that many zeros as there are digits after the decimal point in the denominator. So here we have 331 that is 3 digits after the decimal. So we are going to add 3 zeros in the denominator to get the equivalent fraction. So that the value of the fraction or the value of the decimal does not change. So our new number or 1.3331 equals 1331 divided by 1000. Now we can find the cube root of this fraction. So let's find the cube root. We can write it as 1331 divided by 1000. Now we are going to find the factors of these numbers. So let's find the factors by prime factorization. First we'll find the factors of 1331. So 1331 is divisible by prime number 11. 11 times 1 is 11. Then here we have 2 remainder. This becomes 23. 11 times 2 is 22. Then 1 is remainder. This becomes 11. 11 times 1 is 11. Now we are going to divide 121 by 11 again. 11 times 1 is 11. 1 is remainder. This becomes 11. 11 times 1 is 11. And 11 is a prime number. It is only divisible by 11. So we got the factors of 1331 as 11 times 11 times 11. So in the numerator we will have 11 times 11 times 11. And in the denominator we, we need the factors of 1000 which will be 10 times 10 times 10. 1000 can be written as 10 times 10 times 10 or we can break it down into smaller factors which is 2 times 5. So that's 2 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 times 5. So the cube root of 1.331 equals cube root of 11 times 11 times 11 can be written as 11 cube divided by 2 cube times 5 cube or cube root of 1.331 equals as this is a cube root and these are cube numbers this cube get cancelled with the cube root sign and we are left with 11 upon 2 times 5 which equals 11 upon 10 or cube root of 1.331 equals 1.1. This is our final answer. So this is how we find the cube root of any fraction or a decimal number. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.